Welcome back, everybody. We're looking at two different weld tests today, Canada versus USA. We're talking D11 versus W471. Now, both these tests are different, but very similar in the same way. AWS has a single V, whereas our CWB has a single bevel with a square side. Both test plates have similar dimensions and are made up of 3 eighths of an inch thick material or 10 millimeters. Now they don't seem to specify what thickness of backing bar to use for AWS, but with CWB, it should be a quarter inch backing bar by two inches wide. So we're gonna be doing these plates in the vertical position. The AWS plate is done with a quarter inch root opening, whereas the CWB is done with a half inch root opening. We're gonna weld both these roots at about 125 amps. Now your CWB plate is gonna start on the square side and you're gonna to have to do a stop at about four and a half inches from the bottom. Your AWS does not require a stop and restart, but at a default, I ran out of rod and having to stop at the exact same place anyways. When it comes to my CWB plate, then I'm gonna do the bevel side. I choose to do a little weave and I have to stop at an inch and a half from the bottom. After we tie into those roots, it'll be straight stringers all the way to the end. And it's the exact same method for both plates. You can see here I've capped in four passes for both these welds. That works for me. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Be sure to like, follow, comment, and we'll catch you on the next one.